I'm, I'm like sweating. <laughs> my number one goal now is to heal my relationship with food. Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. It's been a while, how are ya? I am not in my normal setting, as you can probably tell. I'm not in my bedroom, I'm in my roommate Maya's bedroom because it was the only quiet spot in the house. So Maya, if you're watching this, thank you for letting me use your room, even though I did not ask you. It's hard to find a quiet place to film, especially since my room is downstairs when you live with five other people. So I needed to come up here. Today I wanted to film kind of a life update because it's been a long time since I filmed a video and I just haven't been super active on all of my platforms, my blog, YouTube, or my Instagram. I'm probably the most active on my Instagram, so if you don't follow me there, you should. But even there, it's so hard to be consistent and I literally have a newfound respect for influencers and anyone who's able to be consistent on YouTube and everything because it is difficult and I do want understand that it is some people's like full-time job but if you're able to do this ish in college respect anyways I wanted to film a life update because I really appreciate anyone who has subscribed to this channel and who watches my videos and who supports me in that way and so I don't want to just leave you guys hanging obviously so I wanted to film a little life update about what's been happening in my life for the past couple weeks because it's been a crazy month to say the least. The last time I filmed a video, the last video I posted was my one year of sobriety video vlog, which that was about a month ago. So since then, it was my spring break. I visited my best friend in San Diego and I started my last quarter of college. I literally have two months left of college, which is mind blowing to me. I've done a lot in the past month and so it's been kind of stressful, kind of hectic. That's why I haven't really had time to film. But there's just a couple of things that I want to update you guys on about my sobriety journey, my eating disorder recovery, and the future of this YouTube channel for the next couple months. So before I get into all that, I want to play some clips from my trip to San Diego because I took a bunch of vlog clips and then, well, I thought I took a bunch of vlog clips, but they ended up not being enough to fill an entire vlog. So I thought, why not include them in here so you guys can kind of get a gist of what I was up to there. So I will play those for you right now. going those little jet skis Grady's pumping us up had some <laughs> little trip to San Diego it was really fun and then immediately when I got back from that I jumped right into school so it's been busy as I've said many times I want to put out a trigger warning we are going to be talking about sobriety which I'm not really going to be talking about anything triggering I don't think but just in case I want to give this trigger warning and then I'm also going to be talking about my eating disorder recovery later in this video not specific numbers or anything but just what I'm going through and my current feelings. So if any of that is triggering for you, I would recommend not watching it or watching it at your own risk. So I first just wanted to give a little update on my sobriety because I'm feeling pretty solid in it. I don't have much to say about it. Spring quarter of your senior year of college and just spring quarter in general. If you guys don't know, I'm on the quarter system instead of the semester system. But spring quarter is usually a big time for drinking and I've already been seeing that happening because the weather is getting nicer, people are daging, going out to the bars more and so that has been okay honestly. I was really worried for it but 
I honestly haven't been triggered this quarter. I've I've gone to a couple of dangers. I went out to a bar the other night and wasn't triggered. And so I feel really solid in my sobriety thanks to the meetings that I've been hosting. If you guys don't know, I host meetings for sober and sober curious college aged people. You don't have to be in college, but around the ages of like 18 to 25. So if you ever wanna join those, I will have the link in the description. But thanks to that community that I've built and then also our people which if you don't know what that is, I'll link it down below. That's another sober group that I'm a part of. I have really found a really good support system and a good sober community because before then I really didn't have any sober friends. Before I started these communities and going to these meetings, I didn't really have that. And so now that I have that, I feel a lot more solid in my sobriety. So that is a big tip that I have for you if you're feeling alone is to seek out like-minded people because it is so easy to feel isolated especially in college when you don't drink because it seems like everyone and their mother drinks which that's just what it seems like i promise you not everyone drinks in college but in the environment that i'm in and with most of my friends i'm the only one who doesn't so i have really enjoyed hosting these meetings and going to my rpg meetings and just building those connections i am slightly nervous for graduation because I just have no idea what I'm doing after graduation. I feel like that's a common thing among a lot of my friends now and a lot of you guys, I'm sure, if you're graduating. Um, I'm also nervous for graduation because of how heavily people will be drinking, but I know I can handle it. I know I'll get through it. I'll have my mocktails. I'll celebrate in a different way, so it'll all be good. That's really all I have to say about my sobriety. I post a lot more about my journey on my Instagram, so again, if you don't follow me there, you should. Now we'll get into kind of the juicier stuff and the stuff that's really been weighing on my mind. So next I want to update you on this YouTube channel and the future of it. I will reassure you now that this channel isn't going anywhere. I just want to update you on my mindset towards it a little bit. I want to continue creating videos on this channel for as long as I can. Definitely after college, I want to continue creating videos because I genuinely really like creating videos. That being said, I really like creating videos when I do not feel pressured to create videos, if that makes sense. I put so much pressure on myself when I first started this YouTube video back in the fall and winter and I would get very anxious if I missed an upload or very anxious if I didn't edit my video on time. I would stay up late, I would lock myself in my room and edit, edit, edit and miss out on making memories and spending time with my roommates because I would just be editing these videos and so I was very consistent with my uploads then but I wasn't, I don't think I was fully enjoying it. And so lately I've been inactive because I've taken a step back from YouTube and I realized that this is not my full-time job. There are YouTubers that this is their full-time job. I'm not even monetized on YouTube yet. I don't get anything out of these videos, any like financial compensation. I don't have brand deals. I don't have anything. And so this is purely a passion project. And what's the other phrase? A love project? A labor of love is what this is because I really like to do it. I would love for this to be a career in this and coupled with growing my blog and growing my meetings and helping as many people as possible. But as of right now, treating it like a job is just not very realistic for me. I know that the only way that this will become my career is if I treat it like a job and I'm uploading consistently, but I've come to the realization that that can wait. I have so many ideas of where I want to take a Funship blog and so many ideas for growing the brand and for the avenues I want to go down and just, they're all just swirling around up there and it would really stress me out because I have all these ideas and I wanna act on them now, now, now. I have always been a very all or nothing person and when I want something, I want it now, kinda of like when I was drinking. And so I put this tremendous pressure on myself to create all these videos and grow the brand and grow the brand and not take a minute to myself and just keep pushing out content. And that's when it got really stressful for me. I have always had a scarcity mindset, which I just learned what that is. And I'll put a blog post that I wrote on it below, but I struggle with feeling like there's never enough for me and I need to work on it now or my time is gonna go away. I've had to realize that if this is what I meant to be doing, which I fully believe that it is, I'm very passionate about it, the growth and the success and everything that I wanna put into this blog, it will all happen at the right time and it will happen when the universe 
thinks that I'm ready. And right now I can assure you that I am not ready. I'm in school, I have a part-time job. I also want to be able to hang out with my friends and actually experience these last two months of college. I will never get these last two months of college back. I will for sure have opportunities in the future to make YouTube videos. Trust me, the second that I graduate, I will be hitting the ground running with making these videos and growing my brand. I think it's really important for me to remember why I started this channel and why I started my blog and why I started my brand. It was to help others who were going through something that I was going through, to help them not feel as alone, and to help myself in my own sobriety journey. I promise you that there is more coming and I thank you for sticking with me and watching me grow on this journey. And that was a perfect little segue because I was looking back at my New Year's resolutions because the first quarter of this year has already flown by and so I was like, might as well take a look at my goals and my number one goal that I had written for 2021 was to grow on YouTube. And I have realized that that cannot be my number one goal because my number one goal now is to heal my relationship with food. YouTube is obviously very important to me, this platform is very important to me, but healing my relationship with food has to be the number one thing in my life right now. I made a video earlier, I think it was a couple of videos back, about the link between my eating disorder and my alcoholism, and while I have never been formally diagnosed with an eating disorder, I used to suffer from orthorexia and if you haven't watched that video, I explained this in there, but I used to suffer with only eating clean foods and working out all the time. And so I got physical help for that in high school and I gained all the weight back that I needed to. And throughout high school and college, I always knew that I mentally never recovered and I have always had a really fucked up relationship with food and with my body, but I was kind of able to hide all of that with my drinking. And so now that I don't drink, I've noticed those thoughts start to creep up again. And in that video, I was kind of putting on a front. I'm gonna admit, I was kind of putting on an act and saying that I was getting this help and I was doing a lot better because especially in the past month, I have kind of realized that I am not better. I'm kind of inspired to talk about this because Lauren Elizabeth really inspired me. She took a break and she came back and she said that there is this benefit in talking about something as you're going through it rather than looking in hindsight. So I just want to talk about this. I don't have any answers to it, but I want to talk about it because it is something that I'm going through currently right now. I'm not totally comfortable talking about everything that I am currently experiencing in this disordered thoughts realm. I know one day I will be and one day I'll be fully recovered and I can talk about it but right now I'm just not super comfortable with talking about it so I'm not going to but I just wanted to say that I have still been struggling with disordered thoughts about food and about my body and I just don't have a great relationship with food, don't have a great relationship with exercise and so that has become my new number one goal for 2021. I mentioned in that last video that I was in the process of looking for a therapist and I finally found one so I have my initial consultation meeting in early May and then hopefully I'll start seeing her and really work towards getting the help for my eating disorder that I never really got when I was going through it in high school because like I said I got the physical help from a doctor but I never went to therapy for it so I've dealt with these thoughts for years and years almost like eight years at this point. I want to enjoy my senior year without guilt, I want to enjoy my 20s without guilt and I really hope that with therapy, and I know that with therapy, I will get to a place where I am accepting of my body and accepting of the foods I'm eating. And I don't see food in such a disordered way. That is another reason why I'm not gonna be posting as much because I know that when I start therapy in early May, I'm gonna wanna really be focused on that and my mental health has to come first. Your mental health always has to come first over whatever you're doing. So whether that's school, a job, YouTube, my mental health needs to come first. So I know that when I start therapy, I really wanna focus in on that. And yeah, I hope that 
in a couple months I can make another video talking about my progress in my eating disorder. Thank you guys all for listening to me ramble. I know this was a really talky video. This video I mainly made for me to kind of express my feelings because I obviously want to keep you guys updated but it also felt really good just to get all of that out. So I don't really have anything else to say. Thank you guys so much for watching. Feel free to DM me on Instagram if you resonate with any of this stuff that I talked about. And I will see you guys in the next video whenever that may be.